hello guys uh, welcome to salesforce anytime channel um, so we are going to talk about some issues uh, normally we get during deployments um, so today uh, let's talk about uh, some issues uh, have you ever faced uh, an issue where uh, you have uh, mistyped a component name uh, inside the package.xml when you are trying to build a package uh, XML uh, in order to fetch some components. Uh, for example, when you are building uh, a report, right? You, are, you want to fetch a report uh, using package XML, then you want to enter the report name uh, with its folder name. So uh, normally uh, you would get the report names, but again, to look for the exact folder name and the API report name sometimes you would mistype it and that's the reason uh, when you retrieve that package using package.xml from salesforce.com uh, it will fail so this is just one of the issues um, so uh, so other uh, components for example apex class you might not uh, face those issues because uh, apex class already supports the asterisk symbol inside the package xml whereas reports dashboards email templates these are the component types those don't support the asterisks inside package xml so this will be solved uh, using uh, packmagics.com uh, uh, what we are going to talk about today so there is another problem it will also solve uh, for example uh, when you have multiple people developing on the same sandbox uh, for a sprint for example and uh, uh, you wanted to uh, deploy the changes after the sprint to the next sandbox uh, then probably you would gather the information from all the developers what are the components those got changed uh, during the sprint and then you would deploy to the next sandbox correct so and uh, during this process sometimes you have to depend on the developers to tell you okay which components got changed and not um, so sometimes developers tend to miss some components and that's how you would get SIT defects in those cases. So to solve that kind of problem, uh, this tool uh, helps you with the Delta mode. So you could actually uh, get all of the components which were changed during last sprint. Um, that is, uh, you could actually provide a date uh, from which the development started and it will list you down all the components that got changed. So that is a, a another kind of problem and uh, lastly you could also fetch all the components inside your salespost.com um, so for example if you want to document what are the components in your salespost org so that could be very easy or sometimes even you could fetch all the components but with the salespost.com restrictions of 10,000 components at a time you could fetch so let's go and quickly log into this and I'll show you how we can overcome some of those issues so uh, this is a package packmagics.com and uh, you could actually log in um, to different environments from here so first obviously is a production environment so this this also applies to your developer sandbox uh, not developer sandbox uh, actually the developer box uh, which you get free using your e email id right so this is um, a production uh, which is login.salesforce.com if you want to log into a sandbox which is again a standard link here uh, test.salesforce.com and if you have any custom domain for example uh, your domain dot my dot salesforce.com then you could enter that url here so so that you could log into your custom domain directly um, using this so uh, today i'm going to log into uh, my developer box uh, so which is uh, again I have to use production link for that and I would log in using uh, OAuth 2.2 so my credentials would not be stored inside this so let me log in I'm just clicking on this button and I'm going to use, going to use one of my test accounts here which is developer box I'm going to log in So once I log in, it will ask me to allow access uh, to packmagics.com, which is again a standard process. So you could click on allow so that it would be able to access um, the package components uh, using the connected app. 
So once uh, um, I have, I'm into log in, logged into this uh, packmagics.com, you would see this screen here, uh, which is uh, you would see three different modes by which you can fetch uh, the components. So first is um, interactive mode. So in this, uh, the advantage is that uh, whatever components you want to fetch, you would be able to select from the drop down here. Uh, for example, if I want to fetch some Apex class, then I would just select the Apex class from this list and it would auto automatically populate the list of all the Apex classes in my org here. So I can easily, uh, I, I either I can scroll down to, to list or if, if I wanted to just filter out those uh, with my Apex class name, I can just enter my class name here and it would filter those out here. So for example, I wanted to fetch these two Apex classes, then I would just um, click on these checkboxes and click on add to package. So remember some of the managed uh, components uh, you would not be able to fetch even though if you add into the package, um, some of those uh, would let you add it but when you try to download those it would, uh, it would not actually download because managed package code is not visible to you. So I have added two uh, classes here. Let me clear out this filter so that I can see again all the classes. Let me add few more here, account controller, account controller two. And then if I don't want any of these uh, Apex classes added to this package, I could just easily click on this checkbox and I can hit remove components button. So it will remove the uh, unwanted uh, components from my package here so if I if I want to again so this is this is just the apex classes we have selected if you want to add few more components for example report we talked about right let's see report so it should be able to give me all the reports in this org so fortunately I have some reports but again I think these are like managed package reports so I'm not sure if I would be able to download these but let's see if we can add few here. Okay, just add it. Okay, so I have added couple of uh, reports here. So you can see right how it is adding the folder name slash the report uh, API name. So which was uh, really difficult if you want to find out manually. So this would solve that problem. So I've just added few components here. I could actually do different things about this now. If you don't want to download the package yourself uh, directly from this site, you could copy the XML file using this button, uh, copy XML to clipboard. So once I copy it here, I could go to any of the editors and paste it. So it will, sh it will actually uh, paste the XML here and I, you could actually edit this XML inside your v VS code editor and then you could uh, fetch the components directly from the VS code editor so that that is a easy step you could follow so let's let me go back to the site and let me show you some other buttons so now if I want to just download the same package XML I would hit this download as package XML I, I'm going to again open it with uh, my Firefox browser so this is the same XML file which downloaded then uh, let me show you some other buttons also there so and if if you want to just uh, download um, this entire package instead of just package XML you wanted to download this as a backup code then you can hit this button uh, download package dot zip so it will download the entire package so it might take few minutes but okay fortunately it has downloaded immediately and I'm just opening this package it's an unmanaged package and you could see the classes here so I think reports are not downloaded because um, those are managed package reports okay okay and then uh, then uh, the last option is that uh, you can download the same XML as a destructive changes uh, X, uh, .xml file so this is a separate option uh, uh, is given because sometimes you 
uh, mistype the the spelling of destructive changes dot xml and then it would not let you um, process the destructive changes so you have to have exactly the same spelling how it is written here right destructive changes dot xml so this is what it is so this is a purely interactive mode which will help you to um, build your package xml and also sometimes take the backup of your code uh, properly uh, using this interactive mode so let's uh, go go to the uh, delta mode now so here you could see uh, you can enter a last modified date um, so this is very old component so I, I cannot put like a last modified date of two weeks back uh, this is very old org actually so th it has been modified since long time so I have to put like very old date to get the uh, metadata out of it so I'm putting January 2021 and then let's put the date as 1 and we'll see uh, so click on the fetch data components we should fetch all the components which were modified uh, after or within the year of 2021 right uh, after on or after uh, 1st January 2021 so this might take few minutes okay so I can fast forward this uh, in my video I hope so so also uh, you could do um, fetch a list of full components uh, when you wanted to do that uh, using uh, fetch all components again uh, this is like uh, fetching all the uh, types of uh, salesforce component from your org and once they are fetched here then you could actually see see down all the components here sometimes you might have thousands of components uh, and if it goes beyond 10,000 components obviously you cannot download that as a uh, as a package.zip um, but it is good idea to see all the components in case you need it, it for documentation purposes or or you wanted to filter out based on names only so sometimes you you would prefix or postfix some of the elements with a particular name and that way you could actually list down only those uh, you can actually filter uh, those components only and then you can build a package uh, with that so I, I'm not going to run this because it's going to take very long time but you could try it on your orgs even though I run it it will continue to take very long time so I would stop it here uh, if you have any questions uh, any comments about uh, this uh, packmagics.com you could actually uh, write it down in the comments area of this video and you could provide your feedbacks as well uh, which will be most welcome so I'm just going to uh, log off uh, from this uh, as of now. Thank you very much for visiting uh, this video. Thank you.